So today we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me. It's gonna be a pretty drastic ultimate get ready with me. I literally have a hair mask in right now. I'm in like oversized sweats and we got a lot of work to do. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because tonight I'm going to dinner with some of my friends for like a belated birthday thing. Um, my birthday was on Mother's Day, so I didn't really get to celebrate um, like I normally would have. A lot of my friends were obviously out of town, hanging out with their moms, doing all sorts of stuff, and also it was a Sunday, so couldn't really do anything too crazy. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go get a few drinks, do a little birthday dinner. Um, and then this weekend we have some other birthday plans that I'm not privy to, but I thought that we would do a fun get ready with me. This is going to be from like start to finish. And it's also Thursday, which means it's hair wash day, it's exfoliating, it's self tan, it's the whole nine. So let's get started. Just got out of the shower, got my comfy robe on. There's just something about like when you're fresh out of the shower, like just putting on a nice robe, wrapping your hair up in a towel, I just feel so expensive. And if you're a girl, you'll totally get it because this was like the shower for me. Um, normally I just do like a body shower, but this was like wash my hair, do all that good stuff. Um, I'm actually not gonna self tan today because my tan is from last week is like hanging on decently. Um, so I think I'm going to skip that step today, but I am going to throw on some moisturizer really quick on my body. So I'm going to start with the necessary body serum. And then because my skin has been so dry lately, I layer this under and then I'm going to go in with the body shop coconut nourishing body butter. So I'm going to do that quick, but before I do that, I'm gonna mix up my brow dye, which I have in this really crusty, nice bag. Clean girl. And honestly, for her eyebrow dye, because as you can see, mine are, this is like a little dye left over. Like they're normally even lighter than this. Not gonna work for me. Um, I use the Just For Men, like the beard dye. Um, I have two colors um, that I like to mix. I think it's like light brown and then like black, I wanna say. It comes with a little tray, but I just use an eyelash case tray and then an angled brush. This is, I normally don't show anybody this because this is this is pretty sad looking. Um, so I just, I don't measure, I don't do anything scientifically. Um, I've been doing this for a really, really long time. <laughs> So um, it's just like, it is what it is for me, you know? So what I'm gonna do is just take a little of, that's the color developer. I need the color base. I just do like a dot. I don't, I think this is the dark one. So I actually do a little bit more of the dark one than I do of the lighter one, especially now that my hair is darker. So there's that. And then, what I do is I take the color developer and I just do like a one to one ratio, honestly. And it's way too much normally, like I'm not gonna use all of this dye, but I don't know how to do it in a smaller quantity. And also this stuff is so cheap, like whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, so I'm just gonna mix that all together and I'm just gonna let that kind of sit for like five minutes while I do my body moisturizer. My dye is nice and dark now, so I'm just going to like paint this on my brows. Trying to be as neat as possible. Um, I do have really thin brows, so I will kind of like overdraw them a little bit though. So now that I look absolutely horrifying and I got brow dye on my robe, <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna put um, some of this K18 uh, leave-in hair mask in my hair. I did not condition my hair. I used like a volumizing shampoo and it is a rat's nest, if you can't tell. So, um, yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, yikes. So I'm gonna start with one pump 
at a time. And basically just divide my hair in half and just run it through roots to ends. I've only used this stuff once or twice before, um, so I don't know if it's like making a huge difference. Um, but I did ask my hairdresser about it because I was like, why can't I condition my hair? Because like I feel like it's just a rat's nest especially since i have extensions i feel like i really need to condition my hair and she was explaining to me that you're not supposed to have any product left over in your hair so that way it can really like penetrate the shaft taking another half pump um which i thought was really interesting i didn't know that so if you're curious as to why you can't condition with the k18 i look like hagrid wow um that's why and you're supposed to leave it in for a minimum of four minutes, but I'm actually gonna leave it in for a hot minute while I kind of let my hair dry. I'm gonna let it air dry like halfway and then I'm gonna blow it out. And then I'll try and brush this nightmare out. Um, and then let me see how much more I have on my brows. I don't really set a timer, honestly. I kind of just like watch the clock um 11 um i'll let it go for like another like two minutes or so There you can see the difference. All right, they're a little red from rubbing them, but I think they look good. Um, they're not perfectly even because uh, my brow shape like is not the same. This one's a little bit more arched, but I mean, for the most part, they look pretty good. I can't believe I dropped dye on myself. And that will last me about two weeks now. Not bad. So I just did a super sloppy blowout. Um, it's a freaking mess, as you can see. Um, I'm trying something new where I'm curling my bangs under. So, TBD on how that's gonna work. Um, also, I changed into comfies because I was getting really cold, but now I'm sweating because I've been drying my hair. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. If you're interested in the tools that I use, like, look at this is a mess. Um, a, I have a tutorial if you want to look. I did post a tutorial on how I do my blowout. And then, um, in my Amazon storefront, which is linked down below, I have, um, the dryer brush as well as the rollers that I use. Um, so yeah, if you care or if you're looking for rollers and like a dryer brush this is super super cheap i unfortunately am not a dyson airwrap kind of girly so he's an all trusty revlon i don't even know <laughs> okay so before we do makeup let's pick out an outfit don't mind my closet y'all i need a better <laughs> system for like all my sweatpants and stuff I was pulling this sweatshirt down and it literally all fell. So anyways, just gonna shove that book up there. Normally all of this is pretty organized. Um, we're just gonna drop that guy. So I think I'm just gonna grab a few things cause I wanna be, I just wanna be comfy. Um, I don't want to wear like sweatpants, but I also don't want to wear jeans, if that makes sense. Um, and it's actually chilly out. So I'm thinking, let's see, maybe like a cute crop, that could be cute. I'm just gonna grab like a few options, I think, and we'll see if we can 
come up with something. So I grabbed, um, let's start with pants maybe. So for pants, I grabbed these like brown, they're like yoga pant material honestly, but they kind of like cross in the front like that. And then they have a split in the front. I really love these pants. They're super cute, super, super flattering. Um, and then I have these guys from Princess Polly, which are really, really cute too. Really flattering. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like, well, they're kind of see-through. Um, but it's like ruched right here and then they tie. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, and then I just grabbed some like basic white tops. So I have this one from Urban. It's just like the BDG brand. It's just like a white racer neck top. Um, it's ribbed. I have a white racer neck that's not ribbed. Um, and then I have two like tube tops. One that's like cream ribbed and then one that's like more of a bright white. Then I grabbed a few shirts here um like over shirts i have this tan it's like a canvas material it's like really oversized um but that could be cute and it's nice and neutral i wear that one a lot though um and then i have this fun green one which isn't quite as thick but again really oversized it's like a men's style shirt kind of and then if I wanted to go a complete different direction, I have this little bomber from Princess Polly that I actually haven't worn yet. Um, it's really cute. I got it on sale and the tags are still on it. Like these brown pants, this bomber, and then um, one of these tops and converse or this, one of the white tops and Converse, or this, one of the white tops and Converse is kind of what I'm leaning towards. So we shall see. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna take my hair out and then we can try a bunch of stuff on. I don't know why. Hi, <laughs> sweet boy. Hi, Papa. Thank you, oh, sweet boy. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> excuse you, get off my clothes. You're on my clothes. I don't know why I'm like not in the mood to do makeup at like my makeup desk today, but it's just not happening for me. My blowout looks absolutely atrocious. Yikes. It's very, very bad. It's very, very bad. I'm gonna cream contour first. Um. Ever since, um, ever, excuse me, you can't have none of this. You don't need none. You're so handsome already. You don't need none. Thank you. Um, ever since I did, um, <laughs> hi, your breath is terrible. Um, I did that TikTok, um, like makeup hacks video, which you guys probably haven't even. <laughs> Bro, you guys probably haven't even seen yet. I guess it's my own fault for sitting on the floor, huh? It's my own fault for sitting on the floor. Boop. Okay, I give you a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. So what I was saying is ever since I filmed that like TikTok makeup hack video, I've been really loving doing my contour first. Um, I don't know when that's gonna go up on my channel, but I filmed it. And spoiler alert, one of the things I do is my contour first. And I love, love how it came out. So I've just been kind of doing that. I think it looks a little bit more natural. Gonna snatch my double chins. Hmm. This makeup bag is un desastre. Sorry. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gripping primer by Cover FX. I use this all the time actually, so I'm running kind of low. 
NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm kind of in between a, a tan, like I said before. So we're just going to mix two shades and pray it works. God, that foundation is so, so freaking good. This is what it's looking like thus far. I just realized I'm going to be wearing or trying to wear a white top. Odds I get makeup on my shirt, pretty dang high. Normally I would be way more precise with this makeup look, but I'm kind of just going for like a no makeup. Makeup situation, right? No makeup makeup. What a nice little contradiction. And then we're gonna take Freck. Give ourselves some nice faux freckles. Okay. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Set my face really quick. Do I want to do a wing? Not particularly, but just gonna with a little brown cold pencil. Like smudgy wing, I guess. I don't know. Y'all, I. <laughs> I have no freaking clue what's happening on my face right now. And curl. Can you believe it's my birthday and I'm not gonna wear false lashes? I am gonna open a brand new mascara though. Love that. Uh, Maybelline Sky High. And last and final step. Oh no. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then I'm going to take this Buxom full-on plumping gloss in the shade Ryan. All right, back in my bathroom. Let's get these rollers out. They've been hanging out in my hair for like, cute. Let me lower this. These have been in my hair for like an hour maybe. Really not that long at all actually. So I got all my rollers out except my bang pieces. So I'm just gonna gently brush through just to get out some of these like kinks at the top where the rollers were sitting. And then you can see just how stunning worth all of the work and I literally didn't even have them in for that long and my hair is pretty nice and shiny let me just brush out this section there we go my little baby hairs But I am, because I used heat and stuff, I am going to throw a little bit of oil in my ends. I'm not like obsessed with Olaplex like some people are, um, but I do have this bonding oil and it was kind of expensive. Um, and I like it because it's actually pretty light. So I'm just going to... And I do like the way it smells. Um, and it was expensive, so I want to use it up and just to set everything in place i'm going to use this igk no limit dry volume thickening spray and i'm just gonna hold pieces out like this and spray up and just kind of look at that and you can spray a little bit like in your not your roots but like your mid shafts 
Same thing on this side. Like, that's big hair. So let me take out my bang pieces. Look at that. And then, like I said, I've never curled my forward like this before, so we're we're gonna see how this goes together. Um, I don't know that. Ugh, I should have done my lip gloss last. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I got my Converse on. And then I think I'm just gonna do to tie all of the black together. So I have black purse to tie in, tie in the black sneakers. And then I think, I think these are cute, right? Do I need a necklace? I feel like I need a necklace. I feel like a little bit naked. And honestly, it's not even that sunny out, but I feel like the sunglasses just kind of make the fit. If we go inside, I can just wear them on the top of my head, right? I like really need to hurry, um, but I think for my necklace, I'm just gonna do a plain like herringbone chain. Um, and then I just have some fun rings. I'm not even wearing my wedding band. I'm sweating now, but it's supposed to get chillier. Um, yeah, I feel like I just needed like a little, a little something. Does anybody else make like a whole ass mess when they get ready? Nope, just me. Okay. Good. Mwah. See you guys later.